Hi, this is real estate attorney and legal blogger Roy Oppenheim. I want to talk a little bit today about whether or not one should rent or own a home. And of course, it's a very personal decision and there are a lot of factors involved, but there's been a lot written about the fact that millennials in particular, uh, who are more involved in a, in a gig style economy or a sharing economy, are more reluctant to pull the trigger and, and buy a, a piece of real estate or, or a home as opposed to renting. And in fact, that may well not be true. It may just be that, that because uh, costs of, of, of ownership are so high and, and coming up with a down payment are so difficult, particularly if you have student loan payments that, that you still have to make, that it's more uh, an, an inability to actually pull that trigger. But one of the things we need to look at is what, in fact, uh, is, are the factors in, in determining whether or not one should rent or own. And so, first of all, the first thing we need to look at is your income to see whether or not you have been qualified for a mortgage so that you could, in fact, uh, purchase a home. But assuming you did have enough for a down payment and you did qualify for a mortgage, the, the question then is, uh, is, it a good, is it a good deal? Obviously, there's some wonderful tax benefits still, unless uh, the, the current presidential administration decides to remove those benefits, but we're not sure where that's going to go. Uh, and, and B, uh, we have to decide whether or not you're in an area that there's going to be substantial appreciation. In fact, if you're not going to have appreciation, you're only going to have really depreciation because real estate technically depreciates as an asset. Things break, things have to be replaced, and there's constant upkeep and maintenance versus rent, which is a fixed known price that you're going to pay month to month, and you're not going to have surprises that pop up on you, whether it's a, a, an air conditioner that needs to be replaced, a, a water heater, or a roof, or, or a pool, or, or anything else that, that needs to be, be fixed at any, any point in time. And so one needs to have uh, the ability to have additional discretionary income to cover those expenses, or otherwise you end up in foreclosure, which is what really happened uh, almost 10 years ago now uh, during the Great Recession where many people got into real estate and then didn't have the ability to pay for increased interest rate or other surprised expenses, increased real estate taxes or, or surprised uh, deferred maintenance expenses and ended up losing, losing their home. So it really has to do with uh, where you are in your life, what kind of cash you have uh, behind you because if you're living month to month, you really are best to continue renting until you have some cash behind you. So it's a personal decision. If we can help you with, with that, we'd love to. Roy Oppenheim from the trenches. Thank you.